Podcasters Across Borders 2009. Four years, when are you guys going to learn? We have a bunch of lifers here, and uh, a bunch of people who, since they've discovered PAB, have kept coming. I'd be interested, actually, who here is a lifer? If you would stand up, please. We need all three, or? Can we just Four. raise our hands, Mark? No, we don't stand up. I need to find a lifer, I need to find anyway. anyway. Three, three, four, if you can hear five, every podcast who's across the board, Thank you very much for the support and commitment. I would be interested also to see who, who are the people who are first time pastors this year. Please stand up. Just so you know, you guys are kind of fucking up the fishbowl theory, right? So uh, thanks for that. Thanks for talking. Well, welcome to the community. Has Tom been? Oh, who can come to Pat again? <laughs> So as Todd mentioned, for those of you here for the first time, there is a tradition at Pab where the new people buy beers for all the older Yay! people. All right! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing why I was many first timers this year. So um, for everybody in the community, we have established something called the Ambassador Program this year, and especially for the people who are newcomers in the community, it's very important for us that you feel like you've always been here. So we have started something this year called the Ambassador Program, and we've picked five people who we feel best represent the community and who are most crazy to give up their time to help us out. Now some of them have offered to help and then we threaten them that you know, that's a really bad thing to do because we'll take you up on it and other people we just kind of grabbed anyways. Do you want to start introducing people? Well, after that introduction, it looks, among the people we grabbed anyways. Um, <laughs> I think, I think we should we should start by you know we'll start with the elder famous of Canadian broadcasting, the elder statesman of Canadian broadcasting, Scarborough dude. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo! Please come here. Yeah. 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 Grab that cheek. <laughs> Anybody having a shitty time? It tastes like wine. <laughs> so if you, if you obviously, if you're looking for help, if, if as a newcomer or even a returning pastor, if you are lost, you're alone, you're confused, and believe me, confused is completely plausible here, look for the red fez. They will help you. Just get Scarborough Dude before 6 in the morning. That's all. <laughs> I don't, know. All the <laughs> I don't know your name. Sorry, in case you don't get the idea, the idea is that <laughs> if you're a first timer here and you don't know everybody and you get the feeling that everybody else already knows each other, well, you know what? It's just because we met earlier. But now you're part of that. So if you were scared to go up to a complete stranger, you know, how could you be scared of a guy wearing a hat like that? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to be judged because, I mean, what, what judgment value is that? Really? So you, you go up to these people and they're going to help you out and they just know where everything is. And that's a handy thing. I think Scarborough knows where the Merchant Tap is, which is a good thing. <laughs> and, uh, Merchant Tap has knows who he is. All right, Linda Mills is another one of our yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of hugging at Pab if you didn't know. Scarborough didn't kiss me, women don't. Well, there's something about Ken you should know. Yeah, but once you your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have Whitney Hoffman. Where's Whitney? She's the tap. She's looking for Scarborough. All right. And we know, we know Jay Wood is on the road right now. Jay was on the road. So and we have uh, a lifer as well who's uh, stepped in. And, and Bill is part of podcasting Canada. Like yeah. 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 No plans to just want to have this party. You gotta work the whole weekend, then. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the bikini. It actually suits us. The change this year is that they end up wearing hats before they drink. 
<laughs> we'll see, actually, I understand later on a few of them will be over there with an organ grinder and a cup. So. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> if you drink too much, it becomes a bucket. <laughs> there, are, uh, oh, oh, oh. there are a few other people that we need to thank uh, for their support and their help in making pod uh, pod pie, I was <laughs> podcast and podcast for Pavo9 a reality. Um, they are Rojic Podcast Conglomerate. Third story production. By the way, Rickards, in addition to providing some financial support for PAD, is also providing beer for the boat cruise tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Everybody in this room who is a registered participant of PAD, and I, I assume you all are, are invited to bring along uh, your partner or your family if you have brought them along to Kingston with you. They're welcome to join us on the boat cruise. Oh yeah, since we're still on the boat cruise, yeah, Mark and I have planned our, our talk very well. Uh, we're going to do an open mic again this year. So uh, if you know how to play guitar, there will be guitarists. If you know how to sing, there will be stuff. And if you don't know how to do either, Chances are you still will. Is there going to be a poetry so, slam? A poetry slam? Poetry, a poetry slam is good too. Start. Tall fuckers. All right. Our first one will be Adam doing a poetry slam. So if you want to. <laughs> I don't even know what is the poetry slam. I don't know, you just slam poetry against the windows uh, of the boat. Slam poetry. <laughs> Read this! <laughs> that doesn't sound as exciting as you made it out to me. Yeah, I know. Right. It's, we a, also, um, it's a rhyming mosh pit. Mm -hmm. We also appreciate the support of, of a few other people. One person whose name appears up here, Todd Mathen, who is a friend of Pat. Right. Help us out Thank you very much, Todd. Todd and Todd actually opened the very first pack. Mm. Where have you been sleeping? There's a nice long hair there. Oh. Oh. That hair was too long for Scarborough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs> so thanks again to all the partners and, and to all of you for making PAV a success again this year. Uh, it was a tough year this year. We all know the economy has been a bit slow and not as happy a place as it is normally. Um, so there's been a lot of social events, social media events that have decided to, you know, well, we'll wait till it gets better. And Mark and I, being, well, stupid, decided to do this anyways. And uh, you guys have rewarded our efforts and our, and our patience. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Uh, Two audio guys clicking the mics. <laughs> Don't cross the stream. Super gay, right? <laughs> I also like to thank, uh, well, we, we want to thank, we will thank, we thank Eden Spodek and Bill Dees and Will Spatesel. So Eden Spodek helped us get connected with uh, Molson, and Bill and Will contributed a community-sponsored, well, cast roller-sponsored registration. Who, who is the winner of that registration? Is she not here? She's not here? She's due tomorrow, is she? Anyways, thank you very much, Bill, Will, and Eden, for your support of the community as well.